In this video tutorial, we take a look at the blot button on the MUA retouch panel and how you can use it to mattify oily skin patches quickly and easily, just like the blotting sheets in your makeup kit. All you need to do is run the script, then pick up the brush next to the foundation stick pro button and paint with white on the black mask over the areas of oily skin. Try not to paint over the surrounding areas, but rather confining your brush strokes to just the oily patches until the skin looks less shiny. And in this particular instance, I'm going to increase the flow of the brush slightly just so that the effect comes out a little bit faster. And now I'm just going to use this brush to paint over those more shiny areas. And on the cheek as well, something like that. And let's just take a look at what that's doing. And as you can see, that's already mattified the skin a lot. All images are different and you may want to adjust the effect or its color in some instances. All you need to do is press the arrow icon to open the group, and then you can adjust the intensity of the layers within it by selecting a layer and moving its opacity slider. So let's take a look at what the layers inside are doing. The first two layers are mattifying layers. And the first mattifying layer will darken the highlight. The second mattifying layer will warm its color a little, just to make sure that it doesn't go too gray. And before adjusting the intensity of either one of these layers, just do what we're doing now and toggle the layer on and off to make sure you can see exactly what each layer is doing and then make your adjustments based on how they affect the image at hand. And I think I actually like these layers as they are, I'm going to leave them and I'm going to move on to the color layer. So if the color of your mattifying adjustment is a little off and doesn't blend in well with the surrounding skin tones, you can adjust the color by clicking on the adjust color layer thumbnail and sampling the color from areas right around the oily patch that you're addressing with this little eyedropper tool. So you can just click around and as you can see, it's going to change the color depending on where you click. If none of the colors you're sampling from the skin are working well, then just check to make sure that your sample size is set to either three by three or five by five average, and that it's sampling from all layers. And you can adjust the color further by moving the circle within the color picker box. If you move it to the right, you will saturate the color. If you move it down, you will darken the color. If you just look at the box, you can see that it's changing. And if you move it up, you will lighten the color. And if you move it left, you will desaturate the color. So I'm just going to pick a color close to where I'd like the color to be again, something maybe a little bit more saturated than that. And I'm going to press OK on the color picker dialog box. And then I'm going to take a look at what that's done. If the overall effect is too strong, you can adjust the intensity of the entire group by lowering its opacity. Remember that subtle adjustments will always look more realistic in your beauty images. And so that is how you can use the blot button on the MUA retouch panel, just as you would the blotting sheets in your makeup kit.